What's up everybody? It is me King Alpha. Hope everybody's doing great. So they have now announced the next season that is starting on September 1st um, and it is called Conqueror's Blade Coliseum. Um, we're going to watch the trailer. I've already watched it already. Um, I'm pretty hyped and I don't want to get a, give off negative vibes or anything because it does. There's some things that do look really, really cool. Um, but, but there's some things I want to talk about as well. Uh, that's going to be interesting and everything. So let us watch this. Let me know what you guys think. And then we will analyze the, the video. And then I want to talk about like certain other things and everything. All right. So let's see it again for me. <laughs> Make sure the volume's all the way up. Really sick trailer, though. I gotta say this. It is a sick trailer. 100%. I love the music, too. It's like... Oh... They do know, they do know how to make a trailer, man. Oh. Ah. All right, now listen. Oh shit! I okay. I really did not mean to click that one. Anyways, um, the trailer hundred percent is uh sick. I love the trailer. And funny enough, someone um immediately said in the comment section, which I found it very hilarious, which was Rogue Jedi. He watches the stream, so he probably is gonna be on here as well. But um, he always says, I like how they are foreshadowing that these new units will be stronger than all the current ones. And it's kind of funny because, you know, they just buffed all the other units and then they're just getting, you know, demolished by these new gladiator units. Um, and this season is 100% uh, focusing on the Coliseum. So it's, it's, I mean, you know, on gladiators, all that type of stuff. Um, so there's no type of technically roman it's not a roman season i know so i was saying maybe it could be a roman season um of them mixing in you know gladiators with them but it's actually just a uh you know type of gladiator season maybe like the theme of like spartacus um now there i just want to state this immediately um they're they're sadly not a new class this season um I was 100% when I watched this trailer, I was 100% seeing, you know, this guy walking in and I was 100% like, holy, like my first thought was, holy shit, we are getting a trident with a net class, you know, and immediately it was shut down. Um, you know, they're not doing a new class and... I want to say I think it is another, yet another season of missed opportunity to bring in another class. And I know it's one of those things that, you know, some classes, yeah, some classes aren't balanced, this and that. I don't care at this point. <laughs> I think, I mean, I do care, but I care, like, if you're going to be bringing in a new season that is this, looking this good already uh, with how the units are looking, how even the, the hero class, I mean, the... The hero attire looks you know you would hope that with a gladiator type of season you would get a class called like you know trident and a net or something or you know a gladiator class or something but um yeah it's just not confirmed so i just want to reiterate this that you know him being in here this is most likely either a pike or spear skin most likely i think it's a pike skin uh because you know pike is one of their classes that they uh, obviously can you know get money for and then also um, it's a class that you would need to grind through the season challenges and stuff um, but it also could be a spear skin but not sure yet um, next the 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 level 100 attire we already know it's this honestly I love it, it, it this attire with the lion on the side everything I, I would rock this attire a hundred percent and it, it is beautiful it's a beautiful helmet and everything and i absolutely love it it's just awesome um now the coliseum as you're seeing in this map right here is going to be the 
new 6v6 game mode. So I'm wondering if this 6v6 game mode is going to be a type of deathmatch. Um, I know they said a little bit in the article, which we could, we could uh, read the article as well. But um, it's a 6v6 game mode where you can get like more reinforcements and stuff and uh, fight it out. And you can kind of see that there's like little areas that you can, uh, you know, go and put your troops on. 6v6 is very interesting. Um, you know, I, I, I would assume this is more of like a field battle type of thing. I just hope that. You know, it's one of those maps that is at least friendly with cat, uh, or I mean, friendly with infantry, and you don't. It's not like some type of field battle type of map because it is looking really interesting even in the middle. I think this can even be a really good like tournament type of map of doing a six v six type of tournaments, even in you know you're doing it with like other content creators having a six v six in Coliseum. I think would be really really cool. Uh, regardless, uh, let's continue. So they showed off. These guys, these guys are the um, tier three unit coming out this season. Uh, we'll talk about them in a second. I am going to be butchering these names because I am just, I just suck. Okay, I suck at, at, at reading uh, certain names and stuff. And I am very sorry. Uh, the helmets are all really cool. I like how they're a bit different and they have, um, I mean, some of them are kind of the same on the sides. But I do love the art and everything that they did in the bodies and everything. They look really, really cool. And I've seen, I've read some of their uh, stuff. Now, one thing is I really hope that there is some type of animation that they do like this and stuff. And I think now I'm really, like, wishing that there was almost animations in this game for when you do kill a hero or when you do um, do certain moves and stuff. Like, I feel like... It would be really, really cool. Almost like For Honor, you know, when they have those animations of when they're killing a hero off and stuff. I mean, obviously you can't do that because it's too long, but... I think, personally, it's really cool. Next is... The, these are the new T4 unit. Uh, T4 infantry coming into the game. Um, honestly, don't know their skills yet or anything like that. They are definitely almost... They're basically the Roman, uh, you know, legion, basically, but as a gladiator form um but they're not t5 these guys are t4 uh they look pretty interesting i wonder how they would hold against certain other units and especially with how strong varangian guards are now um it's one of those things where i doubt even these guys can even hold up against them but you never know <laughs> honestly so after that we have uh let's skip over to these guys so these guys are going to be the new t5 and i really I'm not going to be able to say their name. I'm going to definitely butcher them and I will read them in the article. But these guys are the new T5. They basically have tridents. I'm assuming there's going to be about maybe uh, 16 of them. Again, usually T5 infantry is about 16 models. Um, like four, you know, 14 to 16 models. So it is going to be interesting to see how these guys actually do duke it out and stuff. They look really, really good. And I love the animations, especially if they're doing something like that. Who knows what type of skills they can have. Maybe they can actually... You know, throw their tridents and then just re-pick it up. Now, I really want to say this. Some people were like, "LOL, look at Cav running over the new cat, the the new T4 infantry." Guys, the new T4 infantry are literally sword and shield. Of course, hussars are gonna run over sword and shield infantry. Like it just it just made no sense. I saw some comments on it, and it's one of those things. I just wanted to like back slap you because it's like, do not have the concept of the game you know what i mean like if if they were spears and shields and they were in a formation like that and they still got ran over then i'll be like all right you know you know may you know that that kind of sucks because you know at least maybe stop some of these damn hussars but you know the hussars just bulldozing them through um so yeah this is really interesting again you can get another picture of the uh you know, one, level 100 attire. Uh, I believe this is the level 1 attire, which it doesn't look too bad for sure, but definitely not as good as the uh, level 100. Uh, so this is the level 1 again right here, and then you have the level 100 again right here. I know the image kind of paused in an awkward space, but it just, again, it's like seeing this and seeing the hero just, you know, standing like that, you just wish there was a new class coming and stuff. Um, the map also looks very beautiful, and an animation like that looks awesome. Um, and more, more or less, you know, it's just the same thing over and over again. But yeah, there's no, no, no hero class actually can do this. So pretty, it's pretty funny that they have that animation. 
And then they have a little cool scenery kind of showing off. You know, you got this season. So you have, you know, level one attire, level 100 attire, three star unit, five star unit, four star unit. And it's, you know, they're all looking pretty good. All infantry as well. It's an all infantry season. So, uh, again, another all infantry season, which is interesting because you never know what's going to happen in the next one. I could be like all cab or something. Um, then we have, you know, season. Uh, f funny enough, we have season seven, season 11, uh, season. Sorry. Um, oh, Jesus, what season are we in? I, I think it's season 12. And then, uh, you know, season seven units, which is kind of funny. I thought you would have seen Hiskarls in the trailer um, or even, you know, uh, Hiskarls or Varangian Guard, but they weren't in the trailer. So I thought they would have kind of shown off those. And then you have season eight units here. Uh, and then you have a mix of all the seasons. So you have, you know, I mean, that's not really a season. I think if I'm correct, uh, season two, you know, this season uh season oh my gosh uh 11 season um is that six yeah season six and then season oh that was that was just another attire as well <laughs> so yeah they have all the seasons and everything comes out on september 1st now let's go over the article really quick i'm going to skip over some of these things you know it's a roman inspired era of conqueror's blade but it's not a roman season itself um, which I think, again, it's a missed shot of doing even a Roman season, um, because they, they could have done something else where they could have done it, where they added three units into the unit tree and then had, uh, three units come out for a Roman season and then have like another unit tree of like Roman expansion or something that would have been really, really cool. And I know that's a lot of units to come in one season, but Roman, when you say Roman, it's a really, uh, you know. It was, it's a huge, huge category and stuff. And, you know, personally, you can expand on that so much more. There's there's so much that even uh, Romans can even, you know, so many Roman units that you can bring into the game. But yeah, let's continue. Anyways, um, so it's a new Colosseum mode. Lead your own units into battle. Command additional reinforcements in the form of fearsome gladiators and powerful corpse while honing your hero and their skills in the most challenging theater ever created. Um, you can learn more on the mode, including gameplay and design on the official website in the coming weeks. So yeah, we, you know, I mean, we're not going to be able to really know what it's going to be able to do. Uh, but yeah. Um, so again, I'm just going to call them maybe just by their, so the three star unit, I'm just going to say this, are gladiators bent on conquering the Colosseum armed with two, uh, Sake, oh, I can fuck that up too. Blades, uh, their leaping strikes cannot be stopped. This is interesting. Because this makes me almost feel like they're going to, like, you know, just like in the video, they were they killed Sons of Fenrir. What if they're replacing Sons of Fenrir? And these are going to be the new T3 that, like, you know, are going to be great assassin, like, you know, great hero killers. Um, and, you know, kind of make a little bit of a, a, a terror on the field and stuff. So it's going to be interesting. I am glad we're getting new T3 units, especially if they're still going to be keeping that system of... Um, you know the seal system and everything so they haven't said anything yet but i think the seal system is still going to be here um next i'm going to call these the 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 millions <laughs> they're born amidst the flames of gladiator combat the um mermelinians whatever wield swords and shields that can knock back um foes with ease so this is going to be interesting i wonder how well they can actually hold what's their block going to be like um and whether like something like palace guards can just charge into them, brace, and then kill them all. So it's going to be really, really interesting to see what they're going to be capable of. I hope there's no CC immunity. But another thing of like, I hope that they can actually hold their own. Kind of like a Varangian guard with how they hold their own with shields. You know, I mean, I'm not expecting them to hold as well as Varangian guards. But still, like the way block is done on Varangian guards is so good. Compared to the other units and stuff, it's really, really insane. Um, the next is the, I'm going to call them the, the Tiarii. Um, basically, ruthless in Colosseum battles and open combat. The, the Tiarii are a different breed of soldier. Their javelin charges inflict a mark of death, sealing enemies' fates and all, but assuring their victory. So I think most likely their attacks are going to be having some type of bleed. Um, and then additionally, maybe they might be able to, uh, 
do a nice little i mean it's it's funny that it's a javelin it actually looks more like a trident um but you know it seems like they are going to be able to charge and maybe inflict a bleed on the charge or they're just going to be able to stab and charge and uh, or you know kind of almost like perfection pikes like t5 perfection pikes that i think that's actually kind of what these guys might be uh but actually good fighters and stuff um Regardless, now in terms of uh, the new seasonal campaign, it is going to be you'll be able to start in Borderlands or Anadulu, and then you will basically end up in Anliang. So, uh, if I'm correct, Anliang is to the bottom right of uh, Borderlands, unless I'm wrong, and I'm sorry if I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, those are going to be the three territories. So, knowing Anliang, that is a very heavy cav map. Uh, you know, they have so many cav maps on that, uh, in that area. So please, you know, be prepared with that. And then especially, I don't think any of these units are going to stop any cav this season. So, uh, yeah, I just hope these units come out and that they're fun. Um, and then you can pre-order the battle pass, you know, like usual. And again, it starts September 1st. So literally the season ends on the, tw on August 25th, technically. And then like, what, seven days later, a week later, boom next season <laughs> um so yeah this is the uh level one attire and then the level 100 attire you you know they'll probably put up another picture of it um and then also what you're going to be able to do is it begins on august 25th you'll be able to rack up extra xp you'll be able to to get no unit kit damage again so you can rack up some bronze and then you can also get plenty of temporary doctrines for your elite warriors so this is you know all really good now the one thing again they haven't stated if if the seal system is coming back i wonder if they're just taking that out entirely um and it will be interesting to see um what is happening if, if they have stated that they are keeping the seal system i will let you know i would let you know or if um you know other people you know can let me know and stuff but let me know what you guys think i think personally it's looking like a cool unit season um but it's a it's a massive shame in my opinion of the fact that they did they're not bringing out a new hero a new hero i think it, it's a massive shame this was Yet another season, in my opinion, they could have brought out, you know, a trident, uh, like a gladiator, basically class where it's, he has a trident and a net. And then they missed out in season seven, being able to bring out maybe like a dual, a dual axe berserker type of hero. Um, and then they, you know, missed out on another season of what was it? Season 10 of bring, bringing out a claymore hero. Um, it's just it's going on and on, but it's like. So many cool themed seasons that just don't have hero classes and it just it irks me. But anyways, have a good one, guys. Let me know what you guys think and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.